Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. Today I have an exciting project for you. I'll be taking you through the process of creating a custom stencil using a Cricut machine and then etching a logo onto the knife blade. So first we'll design and cut a custom stencil using the Cricut. It's a versatile cutting machine. It allows you to precisely cut intricate designs on various materials. And I'll show you the step-by-step -step process of designing the logo and preparing it for the stencil. Once I have the stencil ready, uh, we'll move on to the fun part, and that's etching the logo onto the blade. I think etching adds depth and detail to the design. It really looks professional and gives it an eye-catching look. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. This is the Cricut Design Space software. It comes with the Cricut stencil cutting machine, and this is where you go to do various things like setting up the machine and making your stencils. You go to New Project. It opens up this canvas work area where you can design and create your stencil. You can pull in shapes. You can basically start from scratch and design uh, anything you can think of. You can pull in pre-made images. So what I did was I uploaded a video, or uh, an image, not a video. I uploaded an image and you can see just how I did that here. Click upload image, select the image, and it pulls it in. This is actually a photograph of a sculpture that I made. So you can pull in your own photographs. You can uh, select complex for the image type. Hit continue. Now you can start working on how you want to cut this out and how you, how you want to turn this into a stencil. So there's various ways you can Use an eraser. You come in here and erase part of it. You can select areas and it'll remove those areas. So what I ended up doing uh, was using an eraser. And you can zoom in here. You can come in here with this eraser, clean up these lines, and basically just go all around here, clean up this image. What you're trying to do is remove any of the areas where you don't want the stencil to make a cut. So wherever your lines are on this drawing is where the stencil is going to make the cut on the stencil paper. Once you have it about where you want it, you can look at preview cut image up here at the top and this will show you exactly what's going to be cut out. And sometimes this will help when using this eraser. And go in here and clean this up. What I wanted to do was cut out this brass and copper section and then have that acid etched into the blade and leave this Thunderbird so that it wouldn't etch. So what I had to do in order to make that happen was you have to create lines all through here. So I just select each piece it already. In this case, it has a line around it. This is where it's going to cut out. And now if I preview the cut image, so now it's going to look something like this. And then again, I can go up here and I can, I can clean up these lines. I don't want it to make all these cuts. And so on. So once you have your stencil designed and drawn, your pattern all figured out, uh, you can go in here and say apply and continue. So I'm going to upload it. So now I have this image. This is the one that I just made. This is the previous one that I've used. Once you have this image drawn, you can add that to canvas. You can resize this somewhere about half inch. If you have your design pleated, you can select it. Go down here to contour. This is where you can turn on and off which portions you want to have cut out. You can see I missed a few areas here. First thing I did, hide all the contours. You can see over here, this is basically what it's gonna cut out. I do want it to cut out here for the Thunderbird. So I select that. Now you have your stencil designed and your cut lines drawn. You can make some duplicates once you've got this drawn. Duplicate. 
So if I create several duplicates, group these together, I can then duplicate that. Basically just start creating a, a bunch of stencils to print out when I do my print. Now I've got a few stencils laid out. If I go over and start to, to uh, set up my machine and cut my stencils, it's gonna rearrange these and try and conserve stencil paper and, and place them all close together, which I don't want. I wanna have a little space where I can cut these out and put a piece of tape down. So I've got them spaced about an inch apart and I wanna keep that spacing. So the way to do that, to keep the spacing, is you select all of them right click, combine, and unite. So this unites all of these as to into one stencil. Now when I go over to make it, click on mat. And so it keeps that spacing. Uh, it treats all of those pieces as one object and keeps my spacing. If I hadn't have done that, it would have placed all these little stencils in a tight row and I, I wouldn't have had any room to cut out each one. So once you've got that done, you go to continue and you connect to your machine and you can print your stencils out. I have my stencils all cut out and now I'm ready to move on to etching. For the etching solution, I mixed about a quarter cup of water and two teaspoons of table salt. I used acetone to clean all the oils and everything off the blade before starting the etching. Once you have your stencil ready to go, you can apply a clear transfer tape onto the stencil and this will hold all the pieces in place while you transfer it over to your knife. You want to put tape down around the edges of your stencil to keep the etching solution off the other part of your blade. I'm using a battery charger to do the etching and I'm connecting the red, the positive terminal to the blade and the black terminal to the cotton ball or in this case Q-tip. You can use a paper towel or something similar to uh, dab the Q-tip on and get the excess liquid off and then just hold it down onto the knife blade. I think I held it down five, maybe ten seconds and just moved it all around over the stencil. Once you're happy with the results, you can uh, pull the tape off, pull the stencil off. Clean it up with a little acetone or isopropyl alcohol. And there you go. You have your logo etched on to your blade and you can work on finishing up your knife. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time.